Why are corns formed on the feet? Uh, hi guys, it's Kent here, the podiatrist from Doc Pods and Ergonics, and today we've had the question come in that why are corns formed on the feet? Uh, corns are a very, very common problem and they form on the weight-bearing areas of your feet. So they form in response to pressure and it's usually over bony prominences. So if we have a look at the spots on this skeleton foot, so this is a left foot, this is the inside big toe, um, it'll use, they'll usually form under the balls of the feet where you can see we've got all these little bony lumps that stick out. They'll form over the fifth toe, over the inside of the big toe, uh, and often around the heels as well where there's a lot of pressure. Now the pressure causes the skin. So the on-off cycling of pressure, like when we're walking or we're bare feet on concrete, you can imagine there's a lot of pressure squishing the skin. That on-off cycling of pressure causes the upper layers of the skin to harden. Now the harder skin is protective, but unfortunately what it also does, it causes more pressure. So more pressure, of course, then causes more hard skin, which causes more pressure, which causes more hard skin. And that cycle keeps going around and around until we get a callus plaque. And then often under a callus plaque, we get a corn form. So if we have a look at the anatomy of a corn, I've got a pretty crude little drawing here. This is usually what a corn will look like. Um, so if this skin, this line here represents the skin, this is the outside of your foot, this is the inside of your foot. We get the callus plaque form here over a bony prominence. And then the corn forms in response to that excess pressure from the callus and you walking on it, or it can be the pressure from the shoe, and then you get the corn form underneath that. So these come in all shapes and sizes. So some of the corns can be a little dome shaped in here. They can be very pointy like an ice cream cone. They can be a half moon shape. They can, they can be a quarter moon shape. Um, so it really depends how we remove them, depends on the shape of the, of the corn. So if it was this shape, for example, we can't cut any of this tissue here because it's living and it'll bleed and be very painful. So we need to just basically slice down in right on the edge of the corn, remove that and enucleate it. If it was a more dome shaped corn, what we can do is just shave that out in little pieces and you won't actually see that hard lump come out in one piece. But that is basically the understanding why corns form on the feet. Uh, so to prevent these, of course, if we know what causes them and it's pressure, what we do to prevent them is we remove the pressure, regular treatment, moisturizer. We can use an orthotic inosole in your shoe if it's on the plantar surface, so the bottom surface of your feet. If that's where you're getting the corns, we can try and shift the pressure somewhere else with an orthotic inosole. So I hope this, hope this helps answer some of your questions. And if you have any questions, please uh, comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. It's very simple to do and it really does help us out. If you need further information on the topics discussed, please follow the links in the description and that will take you to our website where we've got more information on these topics. If you have a specific question that you'd like to ask, please comment in the comment section below and we'll do our best to make a video to address your question. If you have any further comments or questions, you can find us at ergonics.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.